gotta play this game at some point. We're gonna go for Horror Night. Subtitles, V-Sync, yada yada, resolution, all good, quality. This is one of the biggest horror games of the year. Right of the year? Of the year. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Not suspicious at all. Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I fucking love I've my actually been there for I'll a few weeks that. now. My review is tomorrow. My makeup is so fucking good. But yeah, this is a random event-based horror game, so no horrors are pretty much- it's pretty much- you won't get the same horrors as someone else, more than likely. Alright. We know the cutscene. We, we can skip the cutscenes. We can't skip the cutscenes. Alright. Here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm breaking shit. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Cool. Right mouse. Pencil. Rebecca. Game's running a little piss poor, I'll say that. I'll knock it down to how many hertz is my fucking thing? 165? Well. We'll do 120. Great. Perfect timing. I just finished. Maybe knock it down to high, too. Just with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. I'm already doing that game. Let's play in the upright position. Sir, you're going. You're gonna. You're gonna be in a good home. Out of bam, out of boom. All right, 
ma'am, you're coming with me. Gotta test you for fucking intoxication. I don't like how her eyes are open. That scares me. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. All right, don't see anything on the leg. I don't know, like fucking vampire teeth or some pimples. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Nothing. Ew. We got like. Great. Climb on in here and put everything right, into the it. record system. Cool. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. All right, record After system, that, name, we'll bam, age, bam. Don't die here. What was what? that? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I thought I... All right? I thought I heard you say yeah. we'll die here. I'm fine. What Sorry. am I doing? All right, leg. Uh, back. Hey, cutie. Yoink. It's not horrifying at all. Hello? Time to embalm. There we go. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Needle injector and setting needles. We need this guy. And that guy. Time for some prettiness. Gotta wire the jaw shut so it doesn't open. There we go. Next. Insert eye caps. Whoop, whoop. Bam, bam, and All shut. Right. Open that up. Luteral hide, menthol. So we have formaldehyde and a bluish. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. I don't know keep how that works. Thing. I'll get it. Formaldehyde. Menthol. Unstable chemicals. Humectant. Gorilla I don't fucking even know what it said. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Boop. Do that. Scalpel. Where am I cutting? In the neck, right? Ew, that was fucking disgusting. Four steps in tubing. Where's the tubing? Where would the four steps be? Are there any four steps? Are these it? They are. Oh, they're the scissors. Alright, we're gonna do forceps and the tubing. It should just be turned the stuff around. <laughs> that went down. Tubing. Boop. Empty IV bag and troll car. Troll car? No, I don't need that. Cool cavity fluid. 
in search of Arnon and Bonwell family. I'm missing something. Am I? You didn't tell me to grab anything else. Oh, insert the joke art. We didn't see that. Oh, this... This fucking sucks. this. Why does it gotta try and be so fucking accurate or whatever? There we go. There's cleaners in the bathroom closet and cleaner than for them. Grab this. Fill it up. The game always keeps running poorly whenever I... whenever I, uh... load into different rooms. Like, if you see here, it'll get all framey. Then we turn back over here. Framey again. There we go. And now we see more storing wipes. Does it just like wake up? Yeah. Kind of the tutorial is pre-coded. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Damn. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see you then. Nothing weird about that, am I right? Just a normal day. See, I kind of want to get scared by this game, but at the same time, I don't think I will. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a uh, I'm going to skip this because no, I just went into the it. action. Basically, I got a call back saying they want me in. Where are my keys? God, I always lose those. You know, pretty much he's like, hey, come back. I need you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever. And now the horror begins. <laughs> And right. it's Halloween too. So head to the back and get started. <gasps> Sir. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden. Have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. People this, I know what's going on. This possession, I gotta figure out which body is the ghost. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> What am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. I'm fucking 
quitting tomorrow. Who does something like this? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name. Bind it to its chosen body. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Yeah, screw all of whatever this to is. I'm getting to hell. work. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. Whatever. So look Just on walls, under objects, and inside started. furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon what you're if, dealing with. Whatever. Whatever. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Crummy old building. You locked me in here. You scared the shit out of me. Check you out. At least I can keep track of things.
my microphone's been off. I don't know if I can call it. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. That wasn't as scary. This. I'm getting back to work. This that wasn't that stupid. scary. Oh, I saw that on her chest. And she also had something on her back. There we go. Seven oh one six eight one. Seven oh four six eight one. So we need to go to symbols. Right now, the only symbol we have is this guy right here. So it can be a Shadat. No. Alright, let's just fucking record. Name Courtney. Age. Right shoulder. Right leg. The neck. to file the copy up front. Time to embalm. There we go. And of course, every time I run back into this room. All right, we need the wire jaw. Grab you and grab you. Get this one as fast as possible. say I need sticky notes in a pencil. I know about that thing. Because there's a few things I know. Other than that, it's nothing. There we go. I don't know where this fucking lighter is. I know there is one. A uh, lag. Alright. Icaps. Icaps are over here, I believe. Right? Where are these eye caps? Oh, a large old key. Grab those guys? I can't. Don't need that guy. There we go, eye cap. Alright. I heard noises. Oh, I'm getting kind of freaked out. Remildehyde, menthol. Remectant was one, I know that. Remectant. Not it. Bleaching Agent was not one, was it? Formaldehyde. I've already died, Kiwi. Menthol. And we were all to hide. With cleansing agent. Can pick it up. Alright, now we need artery forceps, scalpel, and PVC piping. Where's the tubing? There it is. And a scalpel. I can't use that here. Can't use it here. I'm missing something. All right, let's start this. I hate this. I'm gonna shit my pants. Most important. 
forget what okay, to reservoir do, bag. replay these tapes, or look it up in the database. Reservoir the bag. Of names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. And then a show Use car. It. We got that. Now we just listen to this guy. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. All right. Allowing you Speed the information run. to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way is to as quick as possible. Coffin. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Cool. I'm not gonna shit myself turning this corner, am I? So gonna shit myself. Yeah, we're actually good. Alright, let's see. Was that a demon event to the point where I can do another one of these guys? Uh, looks like a D with two more line or two more circle things. Moisturizer to the face. All right. Let's fucking wheel her back, right? I'm good. I'm good. We don't fuck with that shit. Next, we got a Troy Rod. Alright, Troy. What happened to you, buddy? Look at his feet, Google. Alright, how many things do you got wrong with you? Dick. But I can see it sparkling. See anything? Yeah, yeah you got a lot of bumps on you. Not good. Doubt there'll be anything on your head. This fucking chest? What am I missing? Oh, his arm. His other arm. There we go. That's what my fucking vision turning gray was all about. Alright, Troy Ross, age 30. Uh, left shoulder, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. that I can't use that here yeah let's not do that there we go with the embalming report Needle injector. Hmm. 
Boink. There we go. Sew that right up. We got eye caps over here. Please grab a fucking eye cap. Thank you. Alright. I don't hear anything. Uh, fluids. Already got menthol, cool. Menthol. Formaldehyde. Uh, not bleaching agent. Humectant. Huh. I was in the middle of something. I'm missing. I'm missing something. I'm. I'm. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Hello. Yo, thought you'd be hiding in Billy's place. Your dad needs a full fucking loser. Ran down to the beach in just a sec. Grab the kid and get down here. Party's gonna start without you. Oh, a heroin kit. Cool. Ah, oh, shit. The fucking foundation broke. Fucking leave it to that. Oh. Hey. You did this to me. It's I mean, all I, your fault. I do shit. <laughs> Who told you you can go for a swim? I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna repeat that? Well, I'm assuming I can do this guy again. That was definitely a fucking event. Oh, we also grabbed this over here. Alright, uh, we still need the Glumelda hide. I think that's it. Alright, letting strip. Oh, we're already there. Yeah. Three. Probably process of elimination, this bitch. Uh, it's not that guy. We will say that. How about desolation? It. Can't be this guy. Give me this guy. A very Keith. And that should be it. So we get scalpel. Oh my god, please. Artery forceps. Scalpel. Tubing. I can't use that. I can't use that here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't use that here. Now we just sit and wait. that up. Now we need an IV bag, which is over. I need this guy too. Now that. Where are the IV bags again? Oh, there it is. There we go. Troll card time.
There we go. Tank cleaner. Fuck that. We're not going down there. Moisturizer. Moisturizer time. You're gonna be so pretty. Alright. Alright, fuck me, dude. Which I don't know. Sure, I don't recall uh, you supposed to be out. Alright, wait your turn. I think I have a suspicion of who the person is. I don't find any hard evidence step of that last guy. Too horrific, which I'm fine with. Ooh, some major scratches. Percent this guy. Not this guy, then this game's a scam. There we go. Definitely House of Desolation. Definitely is definitely the very Keith. Yeah. Name, age, head, blemishes, blemishes, mild abrasion, and submit. I guarantee you it's this guy. Alright. Time to wire everything shut. No way it's not this guy. There we go. Let's see here. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable I to have... resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate what balance. To do. Uh, the further you are from your possession, is. the more time you have. All right. The closer you are, the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. 
Fuck that. Right. And then tubing. This is getting fucking horrifying. You. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration is spelled the demon's name. Second, oh, I need the fucking. The top shelf are a special I need the agent that up here. To the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming Can't hold anything else. Process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to Most its best, definitely this guy. I can't it. use that. I can't use that. Here. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called. I'm missing something. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. Can I play that guy? Alright, let's see. BH33. It. B. H. Three, three. Let me just double check. BH three three. Big threes and the little three. All right, cool. Uh, turn off the pump and move the frozen decision. IV bag. Up. And trocar. I already know who it is. Easy telling at this point. I don't know what this means when it turns yellow and shit. Probably the fucking demon getting closer or whatever. Getting inside my head. No. What? There we go. Moisture right out of tank cleaner. I have two games of lag. <laughs> oh, now we can get the last symbol. Tubing by bed. Right there, isn't it? Get needle from bathroom. Needle from bathroom. There it is. Find lighter. If I were a lighter, where would I be? Fuck the lighter. Oh, there we go. Spoon from coffee table. A weird looking spoon. Find baggie on kitchen counter. Time to shoot up some heroin. Go 
always a fun time. That's not normal. What's that? I'm outside. How did that happen? I need to be inside. Put my tube, my thing right here. Yeah. Alright, I can definitely find the last symbol now. Find the last one now. It was the door's open. Uh, moisturizer. You gotta moisturize quickly. Quickly. Right. I already know who who it is. I can have my clipboard out while I was on the ground. Alright. Uh, how do I put... There we go. The mark on. I know it's you. 100% this guy. He has little demon markings on him. Alright, sir. Have fun. Hope to never see you again. <laughs> Speed run? Under 45 minutes, let's go. Alright. Nothing we can do now. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? Uh, I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I think I got the good ending. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home. And get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you? Oh no, you chose the wrong demon. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Watch your foolish spoil and drink it as nuts from your pitiful friend. What the fuck is shit? Damn. <laughs> I thought I chose the right demon. What the fuck was that about? I chose the right demon. Damn. Alright, we'll play this another day. I want to get the other endings. I uh, thank you all for watching.
I'm gonna call it a night. It's been a long day for me. Have a great Halloween, everyone. <laughs>